get ready. It's 2023 and Nemesis Subterra is back open once again in Alton Towers. Initially built in 2012 and closing in 2015, this ride has been closed for most of its existence. The reason it has opened again now is to build hype for the newly retracked Nemesis Coaster, which is set to open in 2024. In this video, we'll give you a quick overview of what Nemesis Subterra is, why it initially failed, and why we think it's doomed to fail again. But before we get into it, please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and subscribe to our channel if you want more of this type of content, it really does help us out. Anyway, let's get into it, get ready. What is Nemesis Subterra? We'll keep this short, but it's hard to talk about Nemesis Subterra without talking about Nemesis itself. Nemesis was Europe's first inverted roller coaster, opening back in 1994, manufactured by B&M and designed by John Wardley. The theme of Nemesis is that when Alton Towers began construction to build their new ride, they unearthed a massive alien lying dormant below the surface of the Earth. A secret organization called the Phalanx came in to restrain the creature, laying steel bars all around it which make up the track of the coaster. Despite coming up on 30 years old, Nemesis is still regarded as one of, if not the best coaster in the UK. For its 30th anniversary, Alton Towers are in the process of completely retracking and re-theming the coaster to ensure it continues to offer a world-class experience long into the future. Building on the success of Nemesis, Alton Towers unveiled a new attraction in 2012 called Nemesis Subterra. This is a drop tower ride where the phalanx take you deep underground to view an egg of the alien creature of Nemesis. Phalanx staff dressed in military uniforms usher you in to view their secretive research project, ensuring you that it's safe to view the Nemesis egg, though it has recently shown signs of life. 10 riders sit each side of the egg, meaning 40 riders are in the auditorium at one time. With some power cuts and alarms going off, riders are plunged into darkness. Eventually, the light comes back on to reveal that the egg is hatched, and we can hear a creature moving around the room. This portion of the ride will be fairly similar to Alien Encounter and later Stitch's Great Escape in Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Suddenly though, riders drop about 6 meters into the bottom of the chamber. Further special effects are utilized throughout the remainder of the ride to add a sense of chaos such as leg ticklers, breathing effects and sound effects too. We're then evacuated from the ride and put into escape elevators, but shortly as we begin our ascent, the lights cut out again and the elevator starts to shake violently, with more special effects used to simulate the alien following us and trying to get into the elevator. Eventually, we escape the elevator and are ushered off the property by members of the phalanx. In its original form, this exit section included a scare maze to escape featuring more live actors. This portion of the attraction did not make a comeback for 2023 though. Why did it initially fail? Nemesis Subterra had a few things working against it right from the offset. The two main components of this being that it had high operational costs due to the number of staff required to run it in its intended form, and also that it wasn't considered to be a very good attraction by guests of the park. We're not operations experts by any stretch of the imagination, but it seems like common sense that a high class and in-demand ride might be worth high operational costs, and a mediocre ride might be worth running if operational costs are low, but those two things in tandem is a recipe for disaster. Three years after Nemesis Subterra opened, there was a terrible accident on the Smiler, Alton Tower's latest coaster at the time. This accident led to two riders needing leg amputations, and the whole incident was a PR disaster for the park though our sympathies lie fully with the victims of the accident. Alton Towers immediately closed some rides, one of which was Nemesis Subterra. They saw big drops in visitor numbers and revenue in the following months and years, which led to them letting go of 190 staff. Based on the number of staff needed to operate Nemesis Subterra, it was the first head on the chopping block. It was never announced to have closed permanently, but it remained closed for many years and was even removed from the Alton Towers website in 2019, leading to speculation that it would never return. As we know now, it did return in 2023, leading up to the reopening of Nemesis in 2024. This reopening saw a streamlining of its operations, needing less staff to run it. Why is it doomed to fail again? Despite this reimagined version of Nemesis Subterra, the general consensus is that it's still not a great ride. It may serve as a nice embellishment of the Nemesis theme, and given that it's topical right now, it makes sense that it's open, 
but will that be enough to keep it open three or four years from now? We're not so sure. This is absolutely speculation on our part, but it seems like it's working well as a promotional tool for Nemesis right now, given that its reopening in 2024 will be a huge boost for Alton Towers and will effectively serve as a new coaster for the park while preserving part of its legacy. If Nemesis Subterra was a standalone ride that wasn't connected to the most famous coaster in the UK, would Alton Towers have gone to the trouble of reopening it? Again, we're not so sure. This area of the park doesn't have a lot to offer with Nemesis closed, so it does feel a bit like Nemesis Subterra is filling a temporary gap at the moment. The same problems they had in 2012 through to 2015 still exist for Nemesis Subterra. It's not highly regarded and it has high, although not as high as before, operational costs. This means if the park needs to cut back on staff or costs in the future, Nemesis Subterra will likely be first to go again. And many things could cause financial problems for the park, such as a poor season, an unstable economy, or another PR problem in the future. We don't have any inside sources at Merlin, but we'd be led to believe that the reopening of Nemesis Subterra is not considered a long-term plan. If we look at the Cursed Alton Manor, which also opened for the 2023 season, it's really clear that a lot of time, effort and money went into making this a permanent fixture in the Alton Towers lineup for many years to come, while Nemesis Subterra doesn't quite look like it's had the same level of attention. We could be totally wrong on this, but similar to its first run, we expect it could run for 3 or 4 years before closing again. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our list of hidden gems on Alton Towers. A link to that video will be on screen now. Do you disagree with us and think Nemesis Subterra is here to stay? We genuinely like to hear your thoughts, so be sure to leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, please hit the like button on this video and subscribe to our channel for more of this type of content. And now you're ready.